Home Parental Nutrition, an awareness video created for Home Artificial Nutrition Week. What is parental nutrition? Some people like myself cannot eat food in the way our bodies are designed to do so. There is many illnesses that can cause the digestive system to be ineffective and as a result artificial nutrition is necessary. There are many forms of artificial nutrition and the choice is made on individual needs. Parental nutrition is a form of artificial nutrition that completely bypasses the digestive system. Hi, I'm making this video for awareness for home parental nutrition. My name is Chloe, I'm 20 years old and I'm on home parental nutrition because I have gastroparesis and intestinal failure due to Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. I started TPN, Total Parental Nutrition, whilst I was in hospital in 2014. I spent six months building up some strength with TPN and I tried other methods of feeding. Um, I fed into my bowel with a drip feed, but unfortunately my bowel doesn't have the motility to make that work and keep me nutritionally stable. Um, I went back into hospital February this year and I was put on total parental nutrition via a Hickman line. The Hickman line goes into my chest. I'll insert some pictures into the video of different lines. There's many lines that um, parental nutrition can be given through. It's an intravenous feed, which means it bypasses the digestive system. I first found the prospect of being fed intravenously really daunting. It was something that scared me because it's not something that is normal and something you see every day. I hadn't heard of parental nutrition before it was time for me to have it. And the risks involved did scare me. There's a high infection risk with total parental nutrition. It means that if your line gets infected, it can get into your blood very quickly. This can cause sepsis, which is a life-threatening issue. Um, to try and avoid this, we use aseptic techniques for when my TPN is connected and disconnected. This is trying to be as sterile as possible. Although being totally sterile isn't something we can ever achieve, we can get really close, making sure hands are washed, everything that goes near my line is sterile, and that it's cleaned thoroughly in between uses with alcohol wipes. Um, I do most of my connections myself. When I first came home I had nurses coming in to do them for me. This was really helpful because the prospect of having to do it all myself was a really big challenge. With nurses coming in it meant I could learn slowly and make sure I was really confident. It also meant that my parents could learn how to look after my line as well. Sometimes I'm not well enough to do my connections or my disconnections, which means my mum can take over. She was also trained in line care, so this was a really important stage in our like home parental nutrition journey. These days, home parental nutrition doesn't stop me. It has to be kept in the fridge, so we bought a fridge that could go in the car to take on holiday. We've been camping with home parental nutrition, we've stayed in hotels, we've stayed in static caravans, and it's all worked really well. Although it brings limitations, I don't let it rule my life. It's just about keeping your line clean and making sure you have time for your infusions. This video shows me connecting my TPN. It's something I do twice a day, and hooking in the morning and connecting again in the afternoon. The TPN then runs mainly overnight. It means that I can be more free in the daytime. I hope you like the pictures. Thanks for taking the time to learn about parental nutrition.